Hi. You know, sometimes I like to do a video just about something I'm amazed at. And today, I'm amazed at how messed up <laughs> the environment is. I don't know if you've read this lately, but testing has gotten so sophisticated that a few months back, I, I think I did a video on how they discovered small micro particles of plastic in bottles of water and how most of the major brands had literally thousands of these little particles of plastic in the bottled water. Now I was thinking, gosh, I'm so lucky that I know about filtered water and I have a home filtration system. Then I find out there's another article that shows they're now doing further testing. It's not only in water, it's even in your beer. So if it's in your beer, <laughs> then it's in your every other probably liquid drink that you actually buy. And they don't know how many particles of plastic now are in the fish that you eat or maybe in the meat that you buy because it's in everything. It's in all, it's just become so saturated. The environment has become so saturated with micro particles of plastic. And then to make things worse, you're finding out now that most water treatment plants do not have the ability at all to take the pharmaceutical drugs out of the water system. So the water coming into your house could have a whole host of pharmaceutical drugs in it. You know, people take so many pharmaceutical drugs in this country, and it's in their urine, which then ends up in the water, in the processing plant, which gets sent back to your house. People are dumping their used their old drugs, unused drugs, into the toilet. That ends up getting processed again and sent back. And they don't know the effects of all these drugs on people who are just drinking water or using water. Now, if you think about it, that same water is being used to make a lot of other products. Is that Are those drugs being um, filtered out of the water used to make bottled water? Because you might not know this, but the largest selling bottled water in the United States is put out by two large soda pop companies. And it's just water that's filtered and processed and then run through another process in their factory. So they're just using tap water to turn it into a more highly filtered water. But does that get the plastic out? So does that get the pharmaceutical drugs out? So now they're wondering how much pharmaceutical drugs are actually in the fish that you buy and in everything that you buy because it's everywhere in the environment. So I just thought I'd talk about this today and so that the next time you sit down to a nice plate of fish or a hamburger and have a bottle of water, you can wonder about how much drug you're actually taking and how many pieces of plastic that you're ingesting because that's what's the whole environment has come to. And at this very moment where it seems like the environment is getting so dirty and so messed up, we're relaxing most of the, um, most of the regulations at the EPA to make it easier to put more chemicals out into the environment. Do you think that's a great idea?